that meal deal will be three pounds, please. Are you just about to take my money with your right hand? Uh, well... What's next? Are you going to give me my change with your right hand as well? <laughs> That's what I would usually... Jesus! I can't go anywhere without some right-handed bigot trying to oppress me. You're the third bloody righty this week, and it's only Monday for Pete's sake. So, could you please? What? Keep calm. Remain silent like the oppressed minority I am. Join my left-handed brothers and sisters in bondage. Ha! Sir. What do you do if I don't? Hmm? Not serve me? Starve me? Or imprison me? Lock me up? Throw away the key and fill the cell with gas? Have they got gas chambers in shops now? It, it, is that a microwave? A gas chamber? Of course it's not. Watch your tone. To get you fired, you know. Times are changing. The pendulum has inevitably swung the other way. Would you like that? Hmm? A walk to the job centre? Not particularly, no. What's your job worth to you? Stu. Stu. If that is your real name, Adolf. <laughs> yeah, it's really Adolf, isn't it? I beg your pardon. What's it worth to you as the fascist you are? Is it worth a small, forgettable amount of money? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Is it worth three pounds? Of course it's worth three pounds. Deal. Bye. Are you a well-mannered and calm individual? Do you yearn to be pissed off at any given moment? Well, sit in silence no more. I introduce you to Pocket Rage. Pocket Rage is a new app designed to mold to your contempt like some pissed off poncho. Simply offer your name, age, sex, and political compass results. Pocket Rage will send you articles and social comments for you to be pissed off about. But don't take my word for it. Check out these heroes. Pocket Rage has changed my life for the better. My friends and students have usually said that I'm the most calm and rational faculty member. Nowadays, however, I choose to lead by example. Sorry. I'm gonna go. Washington. Well, the office used to be fairly quiet and a productive place. But thanks to Pocket Rage, it's really livened up quite a bit. My, my social skills have dramatically improved. Hi Frank, uh, would you like a coffee? <laughs> no, Keith, uh, I don't want any of your round earther coffee. Now I wholeheartedly hope that you sail to the edge of our disc world and fall into the endless abyss like the sheepish little shit that you are. I really feel as though I live in the day, you know, really living in the moment. Life is looking good now. I've made lots of new friends thanks to Pocket Rage. And my way of thinking has also changed. This week, we're launching a new community outreach program to spread awareness. We were each given a task, and mine was to find a bulk Tiki torch supplier. This one looked promising. And free shipping. Would anyone like some tea or coffee? It's really no trouble. What about you over there with the large no? Stunning examples of humanity, I know. A better life awaits. Don't delay. Hate away with pocket rage. Some of our popular flavors include caramel popcorn, watermelon, mango, chocolate, and last but by no means least, vanilla. Hold on. Why did you end on vanilla? Well, vanilla is the classic flavor. We have our unique flavors, but sometimes nothing beats a bit of good old classic vanilla, you know? I, I get that. What I'm asking is, why did you intentionally end on vanilla? Saving the best for last, maybe? A bit pushy, don't you think? Well, if you're not feeling vanilla, we do have a wide selection. Of course. It's painfully obvious. Excuse me? Best for last, vanilla ice cream. White, you're with the KKK. Wait, what? A bloody white supremacist. 
That's why the chocolate is behind the vanilla, isn't it? Oh, I bet you buy into all that race realism mumbo jumbo. I could get you fired, you know. My supremacists aren't as favourable these days, so I bet you a two scoop with no toppings, you'd lose your job. Uh, would you like that? A walk to the job centre? Well, why would my boss believe you over me? Your boss? No. The internet, however. The internet. All it takes is one allegation and the hounds are released. The damage is done. No one wants to be served by an alleged white supremacist. Because from then on, all anyone ever sees is white supremacist. Oh my god. What's your job worth to you? Is it worth a forgettable sum to sweep this under the rug? Is it worth the approximate value of a two-scoop cone? Well, at best... Deal. I'll take another vanilla to go, please. Good job, gentlemen. We have succeeded with excellence in making 2017 a very evil year. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would not have been possible without a strong leader, sir. You're too kind, Martin. <laughs> Stuart, where are we in our gradual increase of criminals in the world? Our Lego pieces are being dispersed on house floors across the world, sir. Brilliant. Martin, bring me up to speed. Oh, hi. Sorry to interrupt. Yes, Nancy. What is it? I hate to interrupt, but what about spreading Lego bricks around houses creates criminals exactly? I, I'm not getting it. Well, you must know. Nancy, our scientists have found that leaving Lego bricks around houses, when the parents step on them, they blame the children, which creates disobedience in the children. And then, boom! Criminal! Glorious evil! Glorious evil! <laughs> okay, then. Martin, the USB technology. <laughs> Successfully spliced into all appliances. Fantastic. Soon there'll be more thieves than ever before. The societies of the world will crumble and... Frank. Frank. Oh, we have gone over this. While we are here, I am Mr. Evil. Okay. <clears throat> and what is it? Sorry. I hate to be a skeptic, but what about USB devices? Turns people into thieves. Well, if you'd actually thought about it, Nancy, everyone gets really, really frustrated when they turn a USB over, only to find out that they were right the first time. <laughs> yes? Well, the more this happens, the more likely people will break their USBs out of frustration. Now they have to buy a new one, and they don't want to pay for it. Boom! Thieves. Well, I still don't quite get it, but don't mind me. Stuart, do some people still think Paul McCartney is a double? <laughs> a few. Brilliant. Martin, the Flat Earthers. They have a global society. Marvellous. <laughs> and we will continue to campaign against rational thought and healthy debate by continuing to fund Antifa. Huzzah! This way. Why is it so messy? A bunch of students here at the moment. Uh, I asked them to clean it up uh, for viewings, but uh, they don't often do it. What kind of students are you allowing in here? Rugby players. They won something recently and celebrated by being leaving a big mess here. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, it can be worse. But boys will be boys, I guess. Are there any other tenants you're forgetting about? No, just the boys. Good. Now, 
If you'll follow me into the kitchen. Just boys? Only boys? Something like that can only be the work of discrimination. Pardon me? Oh, I see right through your deception. You thought you could fool me, huh? Well, think again, you evil man. I don't understand what you're talking about. Is there something wrong? Oh, 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 I think you know exactly what's wrong. But let me spell it out for you. There are more women going to university than ever before. And it's very statistically unlikely to only have boys without having denied dozens of female applicants. Well, we operate on our first come, first serve. Uh, I don't care. You're a misogynist. Retorting with facts over feelings is exactly what your people do. And I am sick of it. Everyone is sick of it. Okay. The wind's over. Please leave the premises, or I will have to call 999. I could get you fired, you know. News spreads fast. If I simply speak the truth in just the right way, you won't be spending any more time in houses, let alone your own. Don't be absurd. No one gets fired over... Over what? Being sexist? A misogynist? Or a bigot? Pick your poison. Any one of them could destroy you and your pathetically mild career. But why? How was this allowed to happen? Don't worry, Fred. In a society where victimhood is superior currency, the Church of Reparations is your greatest ally. I can only show you the door, Fred. You have to walk through it. The church thanks you for your contribution. 